Guys, before we actually start this video, if you don't know, I actually got partnered with Epic Games and they're hooking your brother up. Guys, create a supporter is now a thing. If you go down to the item shop and you go to the bottom right, support a creator, click on that, type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT, and then you guys are going to be able to hit accept. Over here at the top right, it says creator supported exotic motion underscore YT. Take a picture of this or this right here and tweet me it. I will go ahead and retweet it and I'm picking a winner to give you guys free V-Bucks. All you gotta do is tweet me that's all you got to do it shows support to your boy and i would appreciate that more than anything Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mosha bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're talking about Fortnite finally bringing ranked play to Fortnite. Basically, if you don't know, Call of Duty ranked play was something that I was in love with. A lot of you guys know Call of Duty ranked play because you, everyone here basically was Call of Duty fans at one point in their life. And now Fortnite came along and we've, we've really had no skill-based matchmaking going on in Fortnite at all until now. Guys, Fortnite tweeted this out saying, we are excited to announce the new in-game tournament system launching this week week check out our blog for more information now we'll go over the blog and then we're going to go over this video that they left in the tweet and we're going to break it down basically explaining what's happening so i'm super excited for rank play so guys in public matches if you're not that good and you're tired of dying to tryhards don't worry they're fixing that now because they're finally adding skill-based matchmaking if you don't know what that is basically they'll they'll rank you based off wins and kills and stuff like that and then they'll put you against other people in your skill level that have the same amount of wins and kills as you so that way you're going against other noobs so you're not just running into all these tryhards just dogging you every single time. So yes, that is very good for all the noobs out there. Yes, it is very good to see how how you're ranked within the top tier players. And it's going to be a lot of fun. With that being said, let's start breaking down the video that they left in this tweet. Hey, Fortnite competitors. The first version of open online competition is coming your way in the 6.1 update with the new in-game event system. Now, he just said eight game event system. That means there's going to be more than just like solos, duos, squads, because that's the only three that I can think of. There's five other events that's going to be in the game. So let's keep watching. Events are Fortnite's home for online competition and tournaments that enable absolutely anyone to participate in top tier Fortnite play. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Let's break this down and actually sh watch that in slow motion. So eight events, which means it's not going to be solo duo squad ranked play. It looks like they're having tournaments in Fortnite. So you can actually join tournaments without getting invited to like the fall skirmish and stuff like that. They have beta tournaments, Friday night tournaments, alpha tournaments, salty spring cup, tomato temple cup, which are things that we're gonna have to find out in the blog to find out what these exactly mean. How it works is simple. Events have scheduled tournament sessions for you to play in. After you've selected one of the tournaments, you'll see when the session is set to begin, so you can warm up or talk strategy with your squad. Okay, okay, I like that. So basically, the events are tournaments that you can join without having to be like a pro or anything like that. You can join these Fortnite tournaments and maybe win V-Bucks, maybe win money, maybe win just points to help rank yourself better within the community. And it looks like anyone can join these tournaments. It's not like it's a, a max cap. I think they have, I don't know how the tournaments are going to work, if it's going to be like a max cap at like a thousand people that join the first thousand that join or if it's going to be I, I have no clue we're gonna have to read the blog in a second but i'm just going with what the video says and what i think so far so as you guys can see it's this practice event it tells you when it is it tells you what date it's at and it, it's basically set for each i think each server is going to have their own tournament event just remember all players must opt in for crossplay to participate in competitive events once the session begins you'll want to make each match count you can earn points for placing exceptionally well or by securing multiple eliminations in a match Okay, yeah, see, that reminds me of ranked play. Basically, you're going to want to do good in each game that you play. Every kill you get, you get maybe two points. Every win you get, maybe you get 10 points. So you're going to want to play to the best of your ability to rank higher within the tournament. And it, it sounds like it's not like a single elimination where if you lose, you're out of the tournament. It's just like a, a event where it's a, a week-long thing. Whoever has the most points at the end of the event is going to end up being the winner of that tournament. And the better you do, the tougher it gets because you'll be matched against opponents with similar points in the tournament. Each time you enter a new competition, it's a brand new clean slate. 
starting you and everyone else on equal footing. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's where the skill-based matchmaking actually comes in. So if you're placed higher up, you're going to run into a lot more better people. And that's exactly what ranked play is kind of like too. So that's good to hear. Every time it's a new event, it's a, it, you restart your stats and stuff like that. So make the most of it. We look forward to expanding on this new feature with prizes and Fortnite's event system. So we'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. So I got the, the gist of it. I know a little bit about it, but there's more on the blog that we can actually end up reading and it'll break it down a little bit more. There's a lot to it. So I'm going to read it for you guys right now. Um, so in-game tournaments announced by the Fortnite esports team, Fortnite fans with the release of version 6.10, we're excited to introduce the in-game tournaments, which will be located in the new event section of Fortnite Battle Royale. In-game tournaments are open to everyone and provide an opportunity for every, every player to compete directly alongside the pros for prizes and glory note that all players must opt in for crossplay to participate in this event so you got to be able to play with playstation xbox and pc to enable yourself to compete in these events you can be competing with tifu ninja whoever is competing in this you're going to be playing with them if you have the skill level to maintain it i promise you you guys are going to end up running with the pros which is going to be really fun that's one thing i liked about ranked plays just getting into masters you would end up seeing pro players in that division so it's really fun to actually get into those pro lobbies because you're playing skill based matchmaking you're playing with other people and your skill level so what are in-game tournaments each tournament has a series of scheduled dates times during which the com competition will be run each of these scheduled sessions is a completely clean slate all players will begin with the same score and compete over several hours of intense competition to earn as many points as possible players can earn points by either achieving high placements or limiting multiple opponents so like i said this is basically going to be i guess an hour event or maybe like three or four five six seven eight hour event it's not going to be longer than like three day events which is pretty cool so that means that day you're gonna have to grind out for like maybe six hours as many games as you can and just go hard as you possibly can to actually rank up higher up and like it said here you're gonna want to get each kill earns points and winning placing higher in the event gets you more points as well so matchmaking during a tournament session will be paired players with similar points standing so if you're playing well within the session you'll find yourself matched with stronger opponents if you're struggling then you'll sh then you should find an easier time the longer the session goes on tournaments will feature a target score to strive towards reaching this score will award you a shiny pin celebrating your accomplishment in the future earning a pin may advance you in the next round of any tournament or qualify you to win prizes which is really cool so basically you get a pin and it, it's like in ranked play if you got like grandmasters you would get like a secret grandmaster gear and loot and stuff like that so that's pretty cool that they're giving you a pin it's going to basically give you rights to maybe advance in other tournaments in the future and maybe get invited to like fall skirmish or something like that mouse versus controller versus touch basically pc versus console versus iphone during tournaments players from all platforms will complete or compete against one another as equals regardless of it there are mouse console or phone input device every player will participate in the same competition from start to finish with equal opportunity to rise above the competition so basically doesn't matter if you're on console you're playing with pc people if you're on pc you're playing with console people mobile people if you're on mobile you're playing with everybody so just be ready for that uh we've been observing the performance of controller players and our summer skirmish packs west and fall skirmish tournaments while playing against mouse and keyboard players at the highest levels of competition competitors such as nick marks aiden camel lrf and amar cod have shown the controller players can be successful while competing against some of the best pc players in the world combining everyone into a single competition will allow for players to compete with their friends regardless of platform and will allow us to place a single shining spotlight onto the world's best players increasing the prize pool and player experience exposure from our competition so if you guys want to become famous want to become a pro this is really good so let's skip all this other boring stuff initial schedule so it says here on release the following tournaments will be scheduled in na eu br asia and oce regions schedule times will vary by region check the tournament inside the client for details so alpha tournament is a solo tournament it starts october 16th and ends october 21st uh description participate in the first in-game tournament spanning across several days of daily competition okay so then they have the beta tournament which is a duo tournament it's from october 23rd to the 25th grab a friend take on the world until you are the last two left friday night is a squad tournament so friday night fortnite is october 19th to november 30th that's going to be a longer event description join your friends every friday and kick off your weekend with some exciting squad action so maybe every friday only is when they do it um i don't know exactly how it's going to work salty springs cup is a solo event and one week and three attempts to prove you're the salt 
saltiest that salty spring has to offer i don't know if this means that you're only going to be able to land salty i don't know exactly what that means maybe it's just a normal game they just titled it salty springs cup just to give salty springs a little exposure tomato temple cup as well same exact thing become a legends of the tomato temple cup so it's kind of like just the fifa world cup or the fifa cup or something like that they're just naming it after the city just because why not doesn't mean you have to land there doesn't mean you have to end the game there or win there it's just the name of the that cup so guys with that being said that just shows that fortnite is really really stepping it up we're gonna have ranks play we're gonna have an actual tournament event where you don't have to get invited to these events you can literally just play it and you can win money playing fortnite as long as you're good at the game if you guys are tired of just getting destroyed by a lot of good people it's okay because you're gonna get base you're gonna play against people in your skill rank or area so if you are tired of just getting destroyed and you're a noob at the game don't worry you're gonna be able to have fun with other noobs at the game and if you are a tryhard that's always been wanting to get into the pro scene now's your chance but guys with that being said thank you so much for all the love all the support if you guys please can and you're excited for this give this video a thumbs up i want to see as many likes as i possibly can on this video i appreciate you guys more than anything and i will see you guys in the next video peace